You guys all know Bethesda is my absolute favorite uh, game company ever. Really, it's Arcane, but Bethesda owns Arcane. Now Xbox owns Bethesda. I love I love Bethesda so much as a company, and I was so crazy excited when I heard that Microsoft made a play to buy them out. Um, and today they did a about an hour and fifteen minutes deep dive of this final arrangement it's done now microsoft and bethesda are one this is now official uh so they did a youtube um reaction to it and i thought i would do a youtube reaction to that youtube reaction so before i get in today's thoughts do me a quick solid and subscribe i would appreciate it greatly channel continues to grow i thank you guys for all the love and support as you guys know, I'm going through some pretty messed up health stuff right now. Um, energy levels definitely not where they want to be. But this was important enough to talk about. So here we are. Um, the Bethesda Roundtable was, it was really interesting because this was the first time in a very long time, you know, really post-COVID, at least here in America, that uh, we got to see everybody in one room, which was interesting. Typically, it's these video teleconferences where everybody has a little square. You know, you see Phil and I do it all the time and war never changes. Obviously, the guy lives halfway across the country. But the point is, on these bigger studios, they're all located in very similar areas. So it's hard to, you know, when they're all sitting at home, it doesn't feel as authentic, I guess. But I understand why due to COVID and health reasons and such. But it was cool that this actually was all of them in a room. So Pete was there, Jeff was there, Todd was there, Aaron was there, Big Daddy Phil was there rocking a Skyrim shirt, all in the same room. It was really cool to see. Uh, I liked that. It was, it was different for me. And I was like, this is cool. So I was instantly drawn into it just based solely on the presentation of it, honestly. Um, and they wasted no time getting right into the real question that I think everybody has been asking now for an incredibly long time. In terms of console exclusivity, what does this mean? And the direct quote from Phil Spencer was, I can't say every Bethesda game is exclusive. And he did go on to talk about some of the arrangements that they have with other companies, obviously. Sony and Deathloop, um, and the fact that there are communities of games that still are very active, like Elder Scrolls Online still has a very active PlayStation community, and people are still playing Doom and stuff like that on PlayStation, and he was very clear, we're not cutting support on that, which is the right move. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say noble, but the right move. Um, but he did say this quote, and he said, platforms where game pass exists, which I think is the true nail in the coffin, as everybody had speculated, rightfully so, going forward after the games that are currently available die off. I think Elder Scrolls will probably be the longest pull in the tent because they will continue to release new expansions and content for that game. Outside of that, though, I think it's pretty safe to say if you want to play a Bethesda game, you're going to be doing it on a gaming computer or you're going to be doing it on an Xbox console. So I think that was really the big, you know, moment I think everybody had been waiting for for a long time. And it's nice that we finally have some clarity on this. I don't understand why it was still so shrouded in mystery the way Phil said it. Like he didn't just come out and say, yeah, it's an Xbox studio. So it's going to be on Xbox. I don't know why they're still kind of shying away from that message, but at least we now understand that, and which is good. Um, the only other piece of notable news was the litany of games that are going to be coming to Game Pass very, very soon. Um, I believe they said 20 new games. Basically, anything that didn't make it already from Bethesda will make it. Uh, ones that really caught my interest were um all the fallouts obviously the older elder scrolls so morrowind oblivion um even evil within some of those more obscure bethesda titles all will be making their way over to game pass for pc which is phenomenal they did also say that uh soon they will be working on um getting a higher frame rate on the console variants of these games so if you own an xbox uh, one uh, series x and I assume Series S, although they weren't console specific. 
I assume that you're going to be able to have um, those uh, games with a little higher frame rate. Now, on computer, my computer will probably run Morrowind at, I don't know, 200 frames a second. Uh, and I, susu I suspect most people with more high-end PCs will not have an issue, but it is nice to get at least 60 on consoles. So if they can hit that target, I think initially, I think a lot of people are going to be happy. Um, I remember playing Oblivion on my Xbox 360 back in 2005, and it ran horribly. But you filled in the gaps back then because you had an active imagination, and this was the first time we'd ever experienced such a vibrant open world with tons of new quests and characters and storylines. So you filled in the blanks. Um, we don't necessarily want to do that anymore, and we're not going to have to on PC. And I hope that for the console people as well, you too get to experience some of these games because they're still amazing. And I think they've probably maybe graphically not aged as well as we wanted. But um, yeah, you got to know your roots. You got to know your roots. I'll just say that. Um, so those are the two big pieces of announcements. Then they kind of went down the line of all the Bethesda games franchises and they talked pretty much a deep dive about the team working on Doom, the team that worked on Dishonored, the team that worked on Prey. Uh, they had a little bit of a teaser for two recently acquired studios that have yet to release anything. They were very clear we haven't mentioned them because we don't have anything yet to say. Um, obviously, we're going to be getting an announcement. They said in the summer. Uh, and that is Roundhouse Studios and Alpha Dog Games. I'll be curious to see what those guys are up to. Um, I'm sure it's going to be phenomenal. Like you guys know, wearing the hat, I'm a big Bethesda guy. Like that's never going to change. Uh, so I'm excited for what they offer. Um, all in all, I thought it was an okay conference. Um, I was definitely kind of surprised they decided to take this route. Phil and I talked about it. Due to the magic of time travel, you're going to hear our take on that uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, we recorded yesterday before this press conference came out, but you're going to get to hear our hot take on us knowing that this was even happening. That'll be interesting. It's a little time travel there, so check that. Check out that. Uh, obviously, with the gift of hindsight now, I'm recording this video. Um, didn't really learn a whole lot. I, I don't think. I think a lot of people wanted, you know, some big reveal, some big trailer. Here's Elder Scrolls Six. Uh, here's uh, Starfield, whatever. Starbound. You know, we're not going to get that. Uh, Starfield? Whatever. <laughs> the Star game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little out of it right now. But uh, yeah, you know, I don't think anybody expected that. Uh, realistically, I mean, maybe like 1% of the fanboys did. But, um, you know, obviously I didn't. So there you have it. Uh, life is good if you're a Bethesda fan. If you're an Xbox fan, this is exactly what we thought it was going to be. If you are a PlayStation only console gamer, this may have repercussions for you in the future. Um, great time to jump on PC gaming and join the club because there's going to be a litany of phenomenal titles coming out very, very soon for everybody to experience on Game Pass. I am fully on board with Team Bethesda. My love for them has never waved and I can't wait to see what they do next. So here's to another amazing, amazing year of Bethesda games. Uh, and uh, here's two great things in the future. Uh, leave some comments below and uh, let me know your thoughts on what's going on with Bethesda and all things Microsoft. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, trying to keep the energy up and trying to push out new videos. I, I got to admit, this is harder than I thought it would be. I've been talking for almost nine minutes and I'm about ready to pass out. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. But uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your health. Please take care of your health. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.